Chloe's ex-husband Lamar was mainly absent from the picture, while Chloe dealt with one Tristan Thompson betrayal scandal after another. But Lamar has returned and wants another shot with Chloe. Tristan officially apologized for fathering a child with fitness model Marilee Nichols and asked Chloe for forgiveness. Tristan is now back to his old self, posting shirtless thirst traps and motivating comments on Instagram. The Sacramento Kings athlete recently turned to Instagram stories to give a message on dealing with his demon, which read, Sometimes you don't realize your own strengths until you face your greatest weakness. Hide from your demons and they'll slowly destroy your potential. Face them and they can potentially become your greatest assets. How has Chloe's life changed since she found out about Tristan's love child? Believe it or not, Chloe's ex-husband Lamar Odom has lately joined the conversation and supporters are now urging her to give him another shot. In August 2009, Chloe and Lamar met at a nightclub and married. Even though the marriage took place in less than a month, Lamar and Chloe appeared to be deeply in love at the time. They established their own Keeping Up With The Kardashians spin-off in 2011. Fans adored Chloe and Lamar, and the show was a great hit. However, the program was terminated after two seasons in May 2012, and reports began to circulate that Chloe and Lamar were experiencing relationship issues. However, Chloe continued to reject the claims, and in January 2013, she posted a blog post criticizing tabloids for creating absurd and stupid tales, stating she is blissfully married to a beautiful man who she falls in love with more and more each day. However, rumors of trouble in paradise persisted, and after months of discussion, many sources began stating that Lamar was dealing with substance problems. In November 2013, TMZ released a video clip of Lamar behaving strangely, slurring his words and rapping about cheating on Chloe. Soon after, two women came forward to say that Lamar had cheated on Chloe with them. Polina Polinski, one of the women, told Star Magazine that she had a six-week romance with Lamar. In mid-2013, I met him at the Roosevelt Hotel. Polinski stated, I was under the impression that he had left Chloe, and that was why he was living at the Roosevelt. He acted completely available, and we definitely had a mutual attraction. This was a major turning point for Chloe, and on December 13, 2013, it was revealed that she had filed for divorce from Lamar after four years of marriage. According to a source close to Chloe, she had second thoughts about the divorce, but finally recognized that she simply cannot imagine having children with someone who refuses to get treatment for his sickness. Chloe then acknowledged on an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians that Lamar had been unfaithful to her and she had lied to the public about it. I'll always be his wife and he'll never call me anything else. Chloe revealed to Courtney that on her 29th birthday, she lied to everyone about her relationship with Lamar. When Lamar went missing, he was with another female. But it wasn't even the worst thing Lamar did to Chloe. In his 2019 biography, Darkness to Light, Lamar confesses to being violent towards her and even threatening to murder her at one point. Lamar detailed an event in which he began to hallucinate and became violent with Chloe after she attempted to get a friend to come over and help. At the time, Lamar wrote, I couldn't tell reality from fantasy. I was on ecstasy and coke. I was sure that people were coming for me. They wanted to get me. According to Lamar, he took a golf club and swung away, smashing the walls when Chloe tried to calm him down. He aggressively grabbed her by the shoulders and screamed, What the F are you doing? Are you trying to embarrass me in front of my friends? I'll kill you. You don't know what I'm capable of. Lamar had reached rock bottom by the middle of 2015, and on October 13th, he was found unconscious at the Love Ranch brothel in Crystal, Nevada. It was then revealed that Lamar overdosed on cocaine and had kidney failure, many heart attacks, and 12 strokes. Despite the fact that the couple had been living apart for nearly two years, Chloe hurried to his side and temporarily canceled her divorce filing. In an interview with Larry King, Lamar recalled the incident and thanked Chloe for her assistance in his recovery. Lamar also expressed sadness about not being able to speak after waking up from his coma because he wanted to tell Chloe how much he loved her. However, Chloe and Lamar's relationship had already been irreparably damaged, and in May 2016, Chloe filed for divorce again, which was completed in December of the same year. However, Tristan Thompson reappeared in the picture. They began chastising her for repeating the same errors. 
Tristan's girlfriend, Jordan Craig, was pregnant with his kid when he began dating Chloe, and admirers told her that it was just a matter of time until Christian cheated on her as well. Tristan went on several occasions to cheat on Chloe, even brazenly hooking up with other women. Not only did Lamar express his love for Chloe and acknowledge he wanted her back, but he also threw shade at Tristan after Chloe posted a sultry swimsuit selfie on her Instagram in July 2021. Lamar and Tristan both go into the comments area to commend her. Recently, Lamar publicly stated that he still thinks she would give him a chance. So guys, that was it for this video. Comment us below what you think about their melodrama relationship. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.